How to open and save a new document in GIMP 2.6 software on a Windows XP operating system. When you first open your GIMP program, go to the workspace area, left click File, left click New, and if you do not want to use the template, simply click OK and begin working. If you do want to use a template, use the drop-down menu to select one of the preset templates. I'm going to use the U.S. letter. And beneath it, you will see that the U.S. letter is 8.5 by 11 inches. The width and height are displayed, and you can adjust those using the up-down arrows to the right of the windows. You can also change whether you want the size to be displayed to you in inches, or use the drop-down menu to change it to pixels, or you can change it to millimeters, points, picas, or others. I'm going to set mine at inches for simplicity's sake. Beneath those two windows, you will see that you can select by left-clicking on either of these icons, either portrait or landscape, to tell the program how you want your document positioned for your workspace area. Beneath, you will see Advanced Options. Simply left-click, and you can set the resolution. Now, because we're using the U.S. letter at 300 pixels per inch, 300 and 300 is the resolution. You can adjust these using the up-down arrows, and you can change whether you want to see it in pixels per inch, pixels per millimeter, pixels per point, pixels per pica, or others from the drop-down menu. Color Space allows you to select whether you would like your document to be in color or black and white. RGB stands for red, green, blue, color. Grayscale represents black and white. Fill With is an option that allows you to tell the program to create your document with either a transparency or either as a transparency, leave it white, or you can fill with the background or foreground color. Now the background and foreground color can be found in the left toolbar in this area. The bottom is your background color, the top is your foreground color. Now you have a comment area that allows you to make notes to yourself, Created with GIMP is set by default to give credit to the wonderful people who provide this fantastic program for all of us to use for free. When you've finished, simply select OK with your left mouse button, and your document appears, and you're ready to begin work. Now before you do anything, it's a good idea to title and save your document. So simply go back to File, left-click on Save or Save As, Regardless of which one you choose, this same dialog box will appear, and the untitled, which you see at the top of your document, is reflected in the first window. We're going to change the name to First. Next, we can choose a folder to save it in, either from the drop-down menu, or if you don't see the folder you're looking for, you can choose to browse for other folders by left-clicking either these words or the tiny plus sign in the box. Select by file type by extension is the important thing about any document that you create. You want your document to be able to be viewed regardless of what program you're using as much as possible so that you will be able to email it to a friend who, if they don't have the same program or they don't happen to have GIMP, they can still see all of your hard work. For this tutorial, I will use the JPEG image because it's very common. So simply left click and as you'll notice, .jpg has been added to the name I gave this document. And it is the first in the list of three extension types listed next to JPEG image.
When you're done, simply left click save. Now if you already have a document by that title, you have an opportunity to hit cancel and change your name or you can tell it that it's okay to replace it. Now because we selected, or I selected, a JPEG image, a new dialog box will pop up and allow me to further define how the image is going to be saved. I can set the quality by left clicking on the slider and moving my mouse from left to right while I hold the left button of my mouse down, or I can use the up down arrows. Because I often name files and forget what I named them, this option by check put our left click space in the window will allow me to tell the program to save a snapshot of my document to make it easier to find in all the other documents I have on my computer. And it automatically calculates the file size. Under advanced options, you can further refine how you want the document to be saved. Let me slide this up and you will see that you also have a comment area here where again you see created with GIMP is set by default to give credit for the wonderful product that you create based on this program. When you've finished, simply select Save. A progress bar will tell you when you've completed the saving process and the word untitled is changed to the name that you assigned it. I assigned it to first and the dot JPEG. And now you're ready to begin work.